Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right, you guys. Uh, San Francisco rapper Big Rich was involved in an incident at uh, Forever 21, apparently in the Bay Area. Uh, in case you guys don't know, Big Rich was a rapper out of San Francisco. He put out a record that came out a while ago called That's the Business. Nice track, man. Nice track. But anyway, to make a long story short, it appears that uh, some people walked up to his wife and they accused her of stealing. And um, basically, to make a long story short, she apparently didn't steal anything and they were wondering why they were singled out. So now it appears that Big Rich is seeking legal representation and he is going to go after Forever 21. You know, uh, you know, when I talk about these type of things, you get people that's on the other side, you know, and you know what I mean, the opposite side, to try to make it look like these type of incidents don't exist and that we're delusional and we're just making this stuff up. If that's the case, why does it keep happening just worldwide, all over the place? And the thing is, people get mad when we bring these incidents up because they want to put out this image that everything is fine and dandy and everybody gets along, everybody likes each other, and everybody shows respect towards each other, and that couldn't be the furthest from the truth. Because at the end of the day, when you're a group of people that have benefited from certain situations, historically for the last 400 years, using the labor uh, predominantly people that look like me you know and when you've had dominion over them you kind of don't want to give up that power you know but at the same time the people that knows it exists you want to try to silence them but this happens on a regular basis I mean this has happened not just with Forever 21 there have been incident after incident with Old Navy there's been incident after incident with Starbucks. Then you had the Prada incident. You had the Gucci incident. But people like me who try to tell y'all to just be aware, you get angry. And like I said before, I'm not going to tell you to boycott Forever 21. Because, you know, at the same time, even after I, you know, load this video, y'all going to watch it. And y'all gonna take y'all asses to Old Navy. Y'all gonna take y'all asses to Forever 21. Y'all gonna, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna continue to buy Gucci. Y'all gonna continue to buy Prada. Because to a certain degree, you guys don't respect yourselves. And you used to being disrespected. So I'm just keeping it, I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not telling y'all to boycott nothing for the people that say hey I'm not messing with um forever forever 21 after this hey salute to you you know for real because when we try to talk to some of y'all y'all get mad and uh, I'm gonna go there you know you can't tell me where to I mean yep I can't that's fine with me you do you I'm gonna do me you know what I'm saying? Even though Forever 21 don't even have clothes for guys, it was basically the dude's wife. That's But that's what I'm saying. You had all these people that and, and rappers that was mad at the people that was saying, hey, that was, that, was, that, that was bullshit what Gucci did. And you had a lot of these people defending Gucci. You had guys like Floyd Mayweather. You had that... That fake, that fraud, brother polite, who by the way is one of the biggest frauds out there. You know, he a turncoat at the end of the day, he sold out. He was he the type of dude that Corey Holcomb was talking about. You know, a couple other dudes. So, like once again, like I said, you ain't fit to get a peep out of town biz. I'm not telling you to boycott nothing. Like I said, you do you. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.